Hi, and welcome to Case Club. Today we'll be reviewing our second generation seven pistol case. It's designed to hold seven pistols ranging from subcompact to full size, 14 extra magazines, as well as an included silica gel canister. First, we'll talk about the layout of the foam and then the features of the case. If you're familiar with our first generation case, you'll really appreciate the improvements we've made to the second gen case. When your case arrives, you'll need to remove this main foam plug, but don't discard it just yet. The updated foam now has built-in length adjustment blocks intended to be used with your smaller guns. Once removed, continue pulling out the foam in the barrel and grip areas. Again, don't discard these just yet, as these pieces are your height adjustment blocks and will be used later. For full-size pistols, you won't need the adjustment blocks and the guns will immediately fit securely as is. For compact and subcompact pistols, use the adjustment blocks to properly fit your guns. Starting with the height adjustment blocks, trim those smaller and put them back in so the back of the gun sits at the same height as a full size. Next, use the length adjustment blocks that were built into the larger foam plug to ensure the gun cannot shift forward or backward. Please note, we've included a variety of pre-cut block sizes, so your customization should be quick and easy. Guns without attachments should be stored at an angle. Guns with underbarrel attachments should be stored horizontally. In this horizontal position, the barrel area now acts as a cutout relief for lasers and flashlights. This case will accommodate small red dots provided they don't stick up too tall and the gun can sit in the angled position. Once done, all of your guns, regardless of size or mounted accessories, will be fully secured and ready for travel. Moving on to magazine storage, we've increased the capacity from 9 to 14 double or single stacked magazines. Like the pistol slots, each magazine slot is manufactured in a clever way to provide maximum flexibility for different sized mags. For short single stack magazines, remove the upper level rectangular piece, but leave the L spacer in place along with the lower foam. This will ensure the magazine is held snugly in place and does not sink to the bottom. For small double stacked magazines, remove both the rectangular piece and the L spacer, but leave the lower level of foam in place. Again, this will ensure that the magazine does not sink too low. For longer magazines, you will need to remove the lower level foam. You will likely need a tool such as needle nose pliers to more easily remove these pieces. Again, if you have a long single stack magazine, such as a 1911 mag, leave both the lower and upper L spacers in place. For long double stack mags, remove all the foam plugs. To keep your foam in the best condition, always use the L spacers with your single stack magazines. Not using those will allow thin magazines to sit crooked, which can put extra stress on the sidewall of the foam. Moving on to moisture control, we've included one reusable hydroabsorbent silica gel canister to help prevent rust. The importance of our specially designed moisture remover cannot be understated, and we encourage you to watch our silica gel video to learn more. Remember, silica gel is necessary because a case that keeps moisture out will also keep it in. Be advised, this foam is an upgrade from Pluck Foam. Unlike Pluck Foam, this foam is pre-cut, ensuring a perfect fit for your gear and saving you time from having to do it yourself. Another advantage of our foam is its military spec characteristics when compared to cheaper foam. When it's closed cell, it won't absorb liquid and you can easily clean it if it gets dirty over time. Cheaper foam, on the other hand, will absorb any liquids and slowly deteriorate. Also, it provides adequate cushion for your gear, but won't tear like the cheaper foam. And the foam in the lid is made of a convoluted polyurethane, whose ridges help to secure everything in place. The case features four snap latches with positive feedback. Two metal reinforced pad lockable holes that significantly increase security. A manual pressure relief valve so that the case can be opened at any altitude. A light orange peel texture to help prevent scratches. In back, there are two strong mechanical hinges with stainless steel pins, which are one way so that they cannot be tapped out. Feet so that the case can stand upright on its own. A molded comfort grip handle that folds down to stay out of the way when not in use, as well as ribs to help deflect impact. And around the perimeter of the lid is a gasket seal, which makes the case 100% waterproof. 
so let's put it to the test. First, we'll put in a paper towel to show that no water gets in. Perfectly dry. You can find this product and many more at caseclub.com, the industry leading manufacturer of cases and custom foam. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.